before um, President Yost. Welcome. Well, thank you, and good morning, Mr. Chairman Brown, Ranking Member Scott, and distinguished members of this committee. I want to thank you for the opportunity to appear before you today to provide a law enforcement perspective on how we can step up our efforts in the fentanyl epidemic that is killing Americans at an alarming rate. In 2021, more than 100,000 Americans died from drug overdoses, 65 percent of which have been attributed to, to fentanyl. According to the National Institute of Drug Abuse, overdose death rates exploded between 2015 and 2021 by nearly 750 percent. Fentanyl and fentanyl analogs were found to be the main driver in drug overdoses. The U.S. Uh, drug overdose death toll in 2022 is estimated to be, or was, was estimated to be at 110,000, primarily from synthetic opioids like fentanyl, making them the leading cause of death of Americans age 18 to 49. Drug cartels use precursor chemicals sourced by China to manufacture pills that are intentionally made to look like prescri prescription medications like Oxycontin, Percocet, and Xanax. The Drug Enforcement Administration estimates that of these, uh, of these fake pills, 40 to 60 percent of them uh, are often bought on social media and are laced with a deadly dose of fentanyl. Taking just one of these uh, can be lethal. Overdose deaths uh, continue to rise despite joint efforts by DEA and the U.S. Department of Homeland Security, both of which have partnered with state and local law enforcement agencies to prevent fentanyl and similar, op similar op opioids from getting into our communities. The DEA alone estimates that it sees more than 379,000 potentially deadly doses of fentanyl and fentanyl analogs, yet the death toll continues to rise. As law enforcement officers, my members are on the front line, and they know firsthand just how devastating this drug ep epidemic is in our communities. We are typically the first to respond to a 911 call about a potential overdose. Our role goes beyond just interdiction and enforcement. We help preserve the sanctity of life. Many, but not enough, officers have access to Narcan, a life-saving medication that can reverse the opioid overdose if given in time. Law enforcement officers and other emergency medical uh, responders likely save hundreds, if not, if not thousands, of lives across this country every single day. Sadly, law enforcement officers experience every facet of this devastating drug. We work to stem the flow of fentanyl into our communities, to capture and punish those who deal the drugs, to save the lives of those who overdose, and when tragedy strikes, we deliver the news to the families of, a, of their loved one that was killed by this poison. We recognize the nature of the threat and, and our, that our country is facing. We must do more if we are going to end or, mit or mitigate the deadly impact of fentanyl and fentanyl analogs in our, to our citizens. We need to a fully comprehensive national strategy to reduce overdose, uh, <clears throat> to reduce overdose, disrupt traffic uh, operations, attack traffickers and cartels with sanctions, and prioritize anti-money laundering efforts uh, related to the illicit opioid trade. The Fraternal Order Police was proud to work with, uh, with Ranking Member Scott and, and Chairman Brown uh, to develop Senate Bill 1271 and, uh, and, and could, not be, could not emphasize enough the need to, to get this legislation moved. It has a bipartisan support, and so it should on both sides of the House, and it, uh, approved this, this committee last summer, and it should be passed by, this, uh, by the Senate uh, as quickly as possible. The Fend Off Fentanyl Act will direct resources of the U.S. government to target the fentanyl supply chain from the chemical suppliers in China to the cartels in Mexico smuggling into the United States by requiring the president uh, to impose, uh, impose and enforce sanctions on criminal actors and organizations, increasing the likelihood that those who defy the law will be caught and prosecuted. We also support the use of lawful, lawfully forfeited assets of these traffickers to further law enforcement efforts uh, uh, to combat these criminals. The bill authorizes the Treasury Department to use special measures to combat money laundering operations related to the traffic of fentanyl and similar opioids. This will reduce the profitability of drug trade and bring those profiting from the deaths of American citizens to justice. All of these measures and tools in Senate Bill uh, 1271 will reduce the number of Americans who suffer and die from fentanyl and fentanyl analogs and other deadly illicit opioids. And that should be our number one goal. We can and must reduce the loss of life by vigorous interdiction and drug uh, of the, and, uh, uh, interdiction of the drug supply chain, relentless pursuit of dealers and cartels and suppliers, greater availability of Narcan for law enforcement officers and responders, as well as passing the fend off 
uh, act. We need all of these tools in our toolbox to handle this deadly epidemic. And if I could change the subject brief briefly, Mr. Chairman, uh, I want to thank you for your leadership in uh, Senate 1514, the Helpers Act, uh, which would create a home loan benefit program for first responders and educators uh, based on the United States Department of Veterans Affairs home loan program available to uh, veterans of our nation. It is important to our members to address the recruiting to rec address the recruiting challenges that law enforcement is facing, and I'd be remiss if I didn't take an opportunity to uh, to mention that here. I want to thank all of you for the opportunity to, to be here today and share the perspective of the 373,000 members of the Paternal Order of Police on this issue, and I'd be more than happy to answer any questions you may have. Thank you, President Yosin. We are going to continue to work to pass the Helper Act until we get until, until it happens.